Yeah, our movie is based on a true story uh, about a couple in the 80s who sailed into a class five hurricane and then were forced to deal with the aftermath of that. Uh, it's a story of survival just as much as it's a story about love. Um, I play the character of Tammy who was 23 at the time um, and through the relationship that she shared with Richard, who Sam plays, they uh, she was able to find the inner will uh, to survive a pretty harrowing situation. I was going to say, he's 100% a risk. Yeah. I think in, if you're a sailor, you're a risk taker. I mean, it, it's it's a very dangerous, uh, dangerous living way of living and he, he is someone who's done that you know many times before he has literally sailed halfway around the world he built a, his boat at the beginning of this movie the, the boat you see him on he built that by hand in South Africa and sort of managed to get himself to Tahiti from America you know he, he and he's someone who's used to being in his own company and I think I think playing someone who who I think there's so many similarities between my, myself and him that it was easy to draw inspiration from my, you know, my own life and my own experiences, but I still, I, and I, I class myself as someone who, you know, takes risks, but is ma maybe not a risk taker. But I, I think he lives more on the edge than I, I do, and um, you know, I can't, I can't help but kind of admire someone like that. We had to not eat a lot. <laughs> uh, we, I mean, we both were physically active and, and did a bit of training before we began filming. For me to build upper body strength just because being a sailor requires so much of that and I was quite weak in my arms. Um, but there was a, you know, because they were stuck at sea for so long, we had to drop weight incrementally to match the story. And uh, it was about a month for myself of no dinner and then two weeks of basically a can of salmon two egg yolks and some steamed broccoli. And that was your diet for most of the shoot. Yeah, well, I, I just got off the back of filming um, uh, a film called The Nightingale in which I, it was the heaviest I've ever been. I, I'd put on weight for this role. And I had like, a th I think about four weeks between the end of that and the beginning of like literally the day one of filming. Uh, and I remember arriving in, in Fiji and sitting down for breakfast with Baltazar and, he was very, very, very polite in, in trying to ask me really? to look more like a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think, I think there were elements of my figure at that moment. Um, that I, and I, I knew this before, by the way, so there's none of that. He told me to lose weight. I knew that I needed to lose weight. I needed to look like I lived on a boat, you know? So I think there was, I, I, my diet sort of began the second I stepped foot in Fiji. Um, so mine was much more progressive, whereas Shailene's was drastic. You know, she, she was sort of eating and then all of a sudden just stopped. Um, whereas I was never eating, so it was, I, was, I was fine with it by the end. We filmed uh, about over a little bit over 90% of the film on the open water, and some days it was only a 20-minute motorboat ride to the sailboat, and then other days it was a good two hours to get to the sailboat. Uh, our marine team would start at about 2 to 3 a.m. to slowly bring the sailboat on the water, and we would go meet them around sunrise, and. I mean, when you're filming in, in an environment like that, you really, truly are at the mercy of Mother Nature, and you get everything from the magical experience of being surrounded by hundreds of dolphins and the awe that comes with that raw beauty to the the strong current and, and the high winds and um, the seasickness. We, we really experienced every uh, aspect of nature I feel like that you possibly could and relationship with nature anger excitement reverence bitterness um, that was very special ho girato il mondo per trovarti e adesso non puoi lasciarmi andare